Okay, day one. Here's what I got to last night. Uh, I did not take any video because I ended up the day with like a splitting headache. Um, but the end of day one, and I've got all the joists, most of the joists, kind of just sitting in place. None of these are permanently attached. Um, these shorter 14 footers are just standing there. And then all the 16 footers are tucked inside their joist hangers and then just sitting on this end over here. I had quite a bit of, well, quite a bit of delay trying to figure out this section. Um, I finally figured out how I'm going to do it. This is part of the problem building without a solid plan. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I've got the joist hangers laid out on that left one, as you can see. I'm going to come across with the joists like this um, between the two double uh, double up joists. That's going to let me use shorter uh, lumber. Two by six actually would be fine, but I'm going to use two by eight. Um, and that'll give me a little bit more headroom in this area. And then I'm going to have the masonry heater ash clean out down below. And then I'll have a trap door on this side. So, um, yeah, that's the end of day one. Pretty good. Um, I would have liked to get a little farther, um, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So, as I was taking this video, I totally just, like, stopped talking. And just started panning around and showing the joists. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of day one. And, uh... I think it actually went pretty well. Um, I've been trying to build with a little bit more quality and a little less speed, um, and I think it's I think it's going to pay off in the long run. Um, just making a, a you know a nicer a, a nicer product, and you know when I was building the garage, I would kind of rush through things and. Uh, it's been nice to actually take my time and, and make sure that everything is done right. Because I'm going to be living in this thing. So, yeah. End of day one. Here we go.